In this video, we're going to look at how you can automate the calculation of task percent complete based on resource statuses. So for this example, I'm using a small model where all of the resources are assigned to their activities. And I've created a resource user field called PCR, which stands for percent complete resource. And the formula for this user field says that when the status set is concrete, formed makes the resource at 35%, Reinforced makes it at 65% and poor makes it at 100%. And then there's another task user field, PCT, percent complete task, that would average these resource user field percentages and add them up to the task at the task level. So if a task has all the columns that are at 100%, it is at 100%. And if half of the columns is at 50% and the other half is, for example, at 100%, the task percent complete would be 75%. So let's see these in action. I'm going to switch for vis visualization purposes to the 3D view and resource status, dates, and colors. And let's say that all of level one, for example, uh, except for, let's say, the columns here, is poured. So assign status on selected resources. And then if I just go home, recalculate user field values, I can see the 100% here, the 100% here, and the 100% here. Now. I'm using fractions. If you want percentages, we can just go there and maybe add times 100 to the formula. So recalculate user fields. And now we have 100, 100, and zeros. If I go here, for example, and for uh, maybe these columns, make half of them formed and the other half uh, reinforced and then go to home recalculate user fields and see what we get 47.85 percent if I then update these uh, so that these are uh, poured and then recalculate user fields then we'd get an 85 percent so let's fill this up with some values just so for example six so this could be reinforced and here, half of these could be um, formed, and the other half could be reinforced. And although this doesn't make sense, let's say this is poured. And let's recalculate user field values, and we'd get these percentages. Now, to export this, you have to you can export the graph as is, but I've created a layout from before. And I'm going to open that layout and go to export PCT. And what this does is that it's sorted by finish date and task name and percentages. And I'll show you why this is useful when we go to Excel. So I'm going to go to the Gantt chart and switch to list mode because I, in that case, I don't want the uh, nodes. And I can just select these and I can export or just copy. In this case, it's easier to copy and go to Excel and I'm gonna paste. So we have the IDs, the finish dates, the names, and the percentages. So here we can just go there and plot a random plot. So maybe insert uh, this, or let's do a bar chart instead. So insert colon, something like this. So we have the task names as well as their percent complete. And we can just go there and select data, then add our finish dates in there. So we could have these dates underneath each task name. And then we could use this bar chart in a project review meeting, for example, to check what date we're at, for example, if we're on the 23rd of 2017, and check what the percentages should have been and how we're slipping and where and why. Uh, 